Hello, today we're talking about evolution and how species evolve over long periods of time. Now, overall, we could say evolution is the, a change in inherited characteristics, as we said, over time. And it's important that we say inherited because that shows that it is passed on from parents to offspring. Okay, and the process it happens by is called natural selection, and we're going to take a look at that in a second. There's one more point to make about evolution, and that's the overall idea of evolution, and that is that all species evolved over a long period of time from very simple organisms. And those organisms lived uh, more than 3 billion years ago. So that's the overall idea of evolution. So all species evolved from simple life forms over about 3 billion years. Let's make a note of that, over 3 billion years, which is a very, very long period of time. But this idea of natural selection, you should be able to describe how that mechanism works. So we'll break it down into steps. And the first step is that all individuals in a population of a species show variation in phenotypes. And you'll remember from previous videos, by phenotypes we mean uh, characteristics. So the characteristics of those individuals and all populations show variation in those characteristics. Now, some of these phenotypes allow individuals to be better suited to their environment. And that could mean a whole range of different things. For example, they could be faster, they could have uh, better camouflage, they could perhaps be taller, but you could list a whole range of different things that make them or give them an advantage, uh, make them better suited for their environment. The next point is that individuals that are better suited for the environment are more likely to survive and reproduce. And therefore the genes or the alleles, we could say, for the advantageous characteristic, in other words, for those phenotypes we just described, are passed on to offspring. OK, so the advantageous characteristics could be, for example, those three we mentioned there. And this then will cause changes over a period of time, changes in the characteristics of those species, and those would be inheritable characteristics, in other words, carried in the genes. Okay, so one point to make actually is we have individuals with variation, but we might have a mutation that occurs that results in an advantageous characteristic. So it could be as a result of variation, or it could be as a result of of an advantageous characteristic from a mutation that could lead to something being faster, camouflage better or taller, or any number of features that they, that they could have. Okay, and the final point to make here is that sometimes we could get populations of species, of one species separated out, and their environments could be slightly different. They could then adapt differently, and they could become two new species. And we know they're new species when they can no longer interbreed with each other to make fertile offspring. And that's actually the definition of species which are individuals that can breed to make fertile offspring, but when they cannot interbreed to make fertile offspring, we say they are a different species. So there's our four key points that we need to know and remember and be able to apply, but this is in a very general way. What we need to do is maybe to uh, apply it to an example. So here we've got an example, and this talks about the evolution of flamingos. So we've got some information about flamingos and a diagram there. And the first thing is that flamingos food there should be an apostrophe there. Flamingos' food is found in mud underwater. Predators eat flamingos, and wet feathers reduce flamingos' ability to fly. So the question is asking you for three marks, how natural selection led to uh, flamingos with very long legs. So the first point to make is linked to the first point we had on the previous slide, and that is that there is variation in the leg length of the different individuals or the different flamingos. So we have variation in leg length. We could also say, however, that a mutation occurred which resulted in a longer leg length for an individual. It's very important that when we talk about the mutation, we don't say that the flamingos mutated or the legs mutated because that makes it sound like it was done on purpose. Mutations don't happen on purpose. We say a mutation occurred. Now, for the second point, it might be tempting to say that some individuals were better suited to their environment and so therefore had an advantage. But the question is very specific. It tells you predators eat flamingos and wet feathers reduce the flamingo's ability to fly. So we have to say what particular advantage having longer legs gave the flamingo. So we could say that those with longer legs could escape predators. That's one possible thing you could say based on the clues that they've given. You could also say that longer legs meant that they were less likely to get wet feathers, so less likely to get wet feathers. And as we know, the wet feathers reduces the ability to fly. So longer legs means less likely to get wet feathers. Or you could say 
with longer legs they could feed in deeper water. So there's three possible advantages you can give from the clues given in the question why longer legs are better. Now for the third point, this is the one that people most commonly get correct, so it should be fairly straightforward, but we could say here that the ones with the longer legs were more likely to survive, and if they're more likely to survive, they're more likely to breed and pass on their genes to the offspring. Okay, so ones with longer legs more likely to survive and pass on sorry, more likely to survive and breed and pass on the genes. Okay, so those are the three points that you would use to answer this question. And it's very, very important, especially for point number two. So there's our three marks. It's very important, especially for point number two, that we, were, that we are very specific in terms of what the advantage the living thing is getting, whether it's a plant, an animal, whatever it is. Don't just say the uh, mutation or the variation allowed the organism to be better suited to the environment. You have to be specific in what we said. And in this example, it was the flamingos with the longer legs. Okay, so that's evolution by natural selection. We've gone through it in a general way and we've gone through a specific example. So hopefully that all made sense. That's the end of this video and I'll see you in the next one.